In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of November the 1st, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against, against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are celebrating the solemnity of all the saints. Today, the church, the Roman See, wanted to remember and remind us all those who are already in the presence of God. First it was for all the martyrs, but then they thought why not include everyone whom we have a certainty that they are before God. The martyrs that shed their blood for the Christ, we have an excellent reason and certainty that they are in heaven, especially when they grant, or rather, when they obtain for us miracles, granted by God always. There is absolutely no saint, not even the Virgin, who would make a miracle by herself. They all intercede before God, and God grants those miracles. Matthew wrote his gospel for the Jews, and he wrote it in a way that the Jews would understand it clearly. He even gave five sections of the whole gospel, clear sections, because he modeled those according to the Torah, that is the law, the Pentateuch, the five first books of the Holy Bible. And here Moses is depicted in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the new and true Moses, the true prophet. But when Moses went up to receive the commandments, Jesus goes up the mountain and sits. He does not need to receive anything. He will give the commandments himself because he is God. And thus he starts. And these are our new commandments. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed will you be if you are able to open your hands and give a good portion of that which is given to you. Keep it back. Keep it to others. Especially all of us who are ordained. That's the meaning of not carrying a sack or a purse so that it will be cumbersome to carry everything and anything that we have been given and we might be able to give it back to others. The poor in spirit also means those who even they are even when they are rich are able to open their hands and share the wealth that God has provided them. This world would have been very different if those who reap great harvests would share with the poor. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. And who doesn't mourn in this valley of death, in this valley of shadows, when one looks around to our fellow brothers? And I'm not talking to Christian brothers or Orthodox brothers, but I'm talking to all the children of God who happen to be human. Their desperation, their anguish, their pain, that we ourselves many times provoke 
with our wars, with our greediness, with our lack of care, with our lack of love. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land, as compared with those who are haughty, who are prideful. No, dear brothers, we need to be meek, just as the Lord says. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness. As I said, we see so many malice, so much, so many malice actions, so much greed, so much robbery and stealing and all sorts of things. They will be satisfied when the Lord comes. Blessed are the merciful, they will be shown mercy. How important it is for us to be merciful, dear brothers, that we might be shown mercy when we are judged. Two of us could stand the strict judgment of God. None of us. All of us would be all of us would be lost. All of us would be condemned. But if we are merciful, if we forgive everyone, then we will be forgiven. But we have to stop doing wrong. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. How do we cleanse ourselves? Only God can do that. But we need to be willing for that. We need to be willing and ready even to suffer the pain that the cleansing will be of our hearts. So that we might receive the joy of seeing God. Blessed are the peacemakers. They will be called children of God. How great are those lawyers and doctors and nurses and everyone and yes of course consecrated and religious people that work for the peacemaking blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness theirs is the kingdom blessed are you when they insult you and, per and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me falsely not righteously falsely as long as we behave rightly Rejoice and be glad, your reward, your reward will be great in heaven. What reward? Well, the reward that cannot, that cannot be bought by any way, but by just letting ourselves, lending ourselves, giving ourselves, offering ourselves to God Almighty, that He might transform us into His true children, that we might enjoy the ineffable delight of contemplating his countenance, of living in his house. That is what we celebrate today, dear brothers. Let us pray that God in his mercy may strengthen us, cleanse us, and make us true witnesses of his love. May the Lord be with you, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.